Uh, good morning and once again welcome to my YouTube channel Pearson at Excel International Maths by Mr. Kamoto and uh, in this video I just want to introduce a topic in IGCSE uh, <clears throat> at Excel International GCSE 9 to 1 Maths Mathematics A and we will be discussing uh, a topic called set 2 and that is uh, in unit 6 and we'll be looking at this book starting from page 86 and I just want to introduce something before I go to the meat of uh, of the whole thing <clears throat> and we need to know some basic principles that a set of a set is a collection of objects described by a list or a rule. Set is a collection of objects. <clears throat> um, a collection of objects described by a list or a rule by described by a rule or at least for that matter you may get an example of a being equals to one three five that is a set of those three numbers and again if you if, if you want to understand something further we are also told that each object is an element or a member of the set. Each element is uh, 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 each object is an element or a member of the set. That means, for example, if you use this one, we're going to say one is a member of A, and two is not a member of A. Please note the difference. One is a member of A, two is not a member of A. Please note the difference. Sets are equal if they have exactly the same elements. Sets are equal. Sets are equal if they have exactly the same element. For example, if you have B containing 5, 3, 1, then we can say B is equals to a is equals to b we can say a is equals to b because a is having one three and five b is having three five and one so they have the same number of elements um, the number of elements of set a is given by the number of elements in um, of a is three because we just count how many members are in set a one two three members just that this is how you relate the number of members in a specific set an empty set um this is this is number of members in a set uh -huh. um, an empty set or a set with no members is shown this way an empty bracket or sometimes we can have that way an empty set a universal 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 set universal set contains all members being discussed it contains all elements it contains all elements uh, uh, being discussed all elements being discussed all elements being discussed in a particular problem in a particular problem and we do not universal set this way. You have everything that is under discussion in that particular question 
that is going to be a universal set. That is it. Subset. Subset. B is a subset of A. Of course, if everything, if every member of B is also a member of A. Uh huh. If every member of B is also a member of A, then then B is a subset of A. How do we write that? B is a subset of A. B is simply a subset of A. The complement of the set A is the set of all elements not in A. Complement. Members not in A. Compli complement of set A. This refers to <coughs> all members not in A. And how do you show that? Of course, you could be discussing universal set, uh, many, many elements. Let's talk about, you could be discussing many elements. And among the elements that are being discussed are members in set A. So anything that is outside A is a complement of A. So what we have shown is a complement of A because inside here we have members in A. Outside A, but under discussion. I mean, they have been mentioned, for example, if we have A, 1, 3, 5, and then we had collected 7, 8. 7 and 8 are not in A, but they are under discussion. That's what we mean, complement. And how do we not denote this? A complement or outside A. This is how we denote members outside A. Uh, the intersection um, of A and B, intersection of A and B. What does that mean? A and B <coughs> is a set of elements which are both in A and B. We talk about A intersection B. These are the members that are in both A and B. We could be having A there and we could be having B there. This is the A union B. <coughs> A, A intersection B rather. And uh, we are talking about the union of A and B. Let's discuss further the union of A and B. The, the union of A and B is a set of uh, elements uh, which are which which are in A or B or both or in both. This one is a bit relaxed because you just have to be in A or in B or you have, you have to appear in both. So and how do we denote that A union B? How do we show that picture? We have we have A there, we have B there. You could be in A, you could be in B, or in both. So the shaded region shows A union B. So we'll be discussing further, we'll be breaking this down further so for now let's just first of all understand that so that we can use the information to do a bit of calculations all right